it's time to gab the fuck on. Michigan State game. <laughs> like, I, I, 
from his perspective, it had to be fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> like, you see that team that Tom Wilson wins the Michigan, Michigan State game, you know, good look. When's the Michigan State game kind of, you know, taken back? And then I scream, he's like, fuck. He kind of felt like he had to answer me at that point. He's like, you're ruining this glory hole for me. <laughs> you this a better experience? Put your mouth there. But yeah, that was, uh, that was my week. So. <laughs> All right, well, let's get into some meat and potatoes. Um, one thing we're going to be doing is uh, some subpar impressions. And I know you guys are to bear witness to some scary shit, but that's what you're here for, so once again, we appreciate it. Um, the first one um, is something Randy wanted to uh, do a long time ago. Can I explain it? Shane is going to do the Green Lantern Oath as John Lovitz. <laughs> Superman. Go ahead, shout it out. It was some... so bad I didn't see it. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> we got 
got an F. Uh, we're also kind of so bad they didn't see Yeah. It. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know if he was going to be Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad? Yeah. I, I enjoyed Suicide Squad more than most, I think, because a lot of people were like, Where is that shelter? Where is that shelter? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and, and you know what? just came, everybody. And I, and I accepted that the movie wasn't about him. It was no, about no, Harley and no. the squad. Well, it wasn't meant to be a lot of No, the fact that he was in it was just eye candy. Basically. Basically. It, was, it was just so underwhelming. The only reason he was there was because Harley Quinn. There was yes. no, you we know, needed I, everyone, 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 everyone. I, I'm just going to say it like this. <laughs> Suicide Squad was underwhelming. There were no, oh shit, moments. Right. Like you had Batman, Superman, you know. You can pick that movie apart. Suicide Squad had no, like, oh, fuck, this is the shit moments. There were no, it was just so underwhelming. I mean, good flick, but just, there's no, like, oh, shit moments. You're never going to say, oh, Will Smith put that mask on. No, it, Will Smith was the Fresh Prince of Bel Air that just happened to be fucking dead shot. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, my coworker at work, he explained it uh, this way for Suicide Squad, and a quote. Man, dog, that ending was bullshit, man. Bitch, you we had lightning shooting through the sky. She gonna fight you with two bitch ass knives. Nah, fuck that. That's what he said. That's <laughs> valid point. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> or you need a dire prince for the long enough to see yourself become a little fell. Right? Hey, you never, you never know. He might be Shredder in Triple Three now because of that. You never know. <laughs> and uh, my number one's gonna be Ghostbusters. I, I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed that. Leave. Whoa. <laughs> he said leave. <laughs> Get out of your own fucking show. <laughs> I, I enjoyed it. Man, what an upset. That's insanity. <laughs> I like the movie more than most. Once again, but I, I definitely, I definitely didn't put it on uh, number one. Song. I wouldn't have put it ahead of Civil War. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, we know it's on games list, too. <laughs> Alright. You want to go, Randy? Oh, no, you take it. You take oh, oh. He said, oh, no. <laughs> you take it. <laughs> Alright, I'll take it, sweetheart. Um, my number three was Suicide Squad. Um, once again, good phlegm, good phlegm, very good phlegm. Um, you know, the bitch ass knives with the lightning bolt thing was a bit scary and weird, but. The one, yeah, there was a lot of things that I they could have done better. They could have done better with it, but I still think, all in all, for a DC film, it like, was pretty damn good. You know, the ad was action packed. You know, I I liked it more than the shit store. Let's say that the shit store kind of was good. And there was more Batfleck in that than there was in Suicide Squad. Agree. Um, there was better Batfleck in that. Better Batfleck. Put a freaking rebreather on it. Rescue Harley Quinn from the water. Yeah. <laughs> My number two, of course, is Civil War. Hank dropped that earlier. Um, such a good film. Uh, I would say that um, after watching Civil War, I really have no doubt that the Infinity War is going to be fucking amazing because the Russo's are directing that too. So, like, I don't have. And they're putting in, what, 67 characters now? Is that what they said? 67 total? Yeah. Um, that characters. That sounds fucking chaotic. Yeah, it does. It sounds fucking suicidal in most places, but not for Disney. Not for Disney and Marvel. They, I mean, they proved that they could do this shit, so. Yeah. Right. And uh, my number one is Deadpool. Uh, that movie blew me away. Uh, Fox really came back strong. Like, I thought I thought they were eventually just going to be like, fuck it, take X-Men back, we don't care, you can fucking have Fantastic Four, nobody cared about that last one, even though I thought it was bad, but. Not only did they just take it back, but I mean, like, 20th Century Fox, like, show them the way to, like, this is how you fuck up a Marvel movie. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most fantastic four in there. <laughs> you have a kid saying it's clobbering time. And oh, man. That, that, that they, not that they were down under, like, with the new X-Men, but definitely, like, they showed, like, hey, we can compete now. Oh yeah, that's very true. Very, very true. Very, very true. Well, yeah, that's my top three. Okay, well, 
from the list, I would have to say that my number three would be Suicide Squad. I enjoyed it, but it wasn't that great, as I think it said. I mean, we can all kind of agree. Um, number two, I will also go with Civil War. It was a good movie. I mean, it was Marvel's best movie so far, I would say. I have a feeling Deadpool is not your number one. Um, Deadpool is not my number one. Nope. Ooh. Yes. So Star Trek Beyond. Yeah. Oh, I kind of figured. That's the best movie of this year so far. I the live long prosper. Now, Randy was praising that before I saw the movie. You said it's the best one you've seen all year. So I figured that'd be, that'd be your top. It was a good film. It really was. Like I, I, especially for somebody who doesn't like Star Trek, I prefer Star Wars all day. And I know you don't have to be one or the other, but I never really got into Star Trek that much. Like Next Generation was probably the most I ever got into it, and um, you know that's just here and there. And I never was like, well, I gotta go see what Picard's up to now. Well, the world's gonna show up, you know. I, <laughs> like, but um, you know, J.J. Abrams makes you want to watch those sequels, like. And not only that, he did, he's doing Star Wars, and he did a fucking phenomenal job with Star Wars, too. Agreed. Which we covered Star Wars, and it's not on our list because it's a 2015 film, so we wanted to stick with this year. Um, that was the very first episode we did of Meek We Have, actually. With Star Wars, yeah. And actually, that'll be the first episode of 2017. We will be doing Rogue One. will be our, our very first episode in that year, so it kind of comes back around full circle. <laughs> I thought that was nice. Um... Hank, you got a list, or are you just want to Oh, do I do have a list. He's like, let me push it out. Let me push it out. Ready. Ready, hold on. Okay. Ready, hold on. I do have a list. I got it. I do have a list. Uh, actually, number three for me is completely X-Men. Uh, Apocalypse. Finally, you get the Phoenix Force. Finally, you get the actual Phoenix Force. I feel you on that. That was something that I Okay, Randy? Okay. Uh... I'm sorry, I gotta get your face on camera. Uh, working with half a chub. Where's Miranda? Miranda? Warm it up for you, girl. Uh, I, I believe he said that uh, he's, uh, he's a warm I just got to give it a hot right now. I feel like a half a chub in the thigh is probably going to work better in the vagina. Um, okay. Number two for me is Deadpool. Deadpool, Deadpool is groundbreaking. Our rated comic book movie. Uh, number one, completely <laughs> Civil War. We get Spidey in the fucking Damn shield for a minute. He's like, what's oh, up? Oh, right on. I'm going to take your shield, Captain America. Do I have a booty butt ring? Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. I want you to be honest. Do I have a booty butt? I've been told I have a booty butt. No. No? No. Okay. Do I have a release you? He said, and we release you back into the wild. I love uncomfortable. <laughs> Look how uncomfortable. Randy was so uncomfortable right there. <laughs> Randy looks like most of the girls who wake up at Bill Cosby's house. <laughs> like, he doesn't know what happened, but. <laughs> Randy wakes up. You see, what happened was. <laughs> You took a drink of the cappuccino and then you just fell asleep. Maybe you can't handle your beer, bitch. <laughs> oh, no girls left of that. Oh. <laughs> goes all the that way. means it's happened before. Hi, ladies. I'm sorry. <laughs> all five of you. <laughs> Which is better than most. Outcomes. All right, well, for the ending of our list, we actually wanted the audience to participate, so before we started, we had them vote, and uh, their number three was Suicide Squad, their number two was Captain America Civil War, and their number one with a uh, whopping 12 votes, or uh, 14 if you count the smartass who voted three times, <laughs> uh, Deadpool. Uh, what won that one outstandingly. So, kudos to Deadpool because Ryan Reynolds fucking killed it, you know. Not See, there's five ladies out there, so that's immediately five ladies who are like, 
I don't like Ryan Reynolds half naked. <laughs> you know, like, we don't like X Men Apocalypse because Mystique is choked out. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's <laughs> not. Fuck funny. that bitch. That's, that's not, not a real body image. That's, that's not fucking funny. funny. <laughs> it's not fucking cool. It's not fucking funny. It is abuse. Why the fuck would you choke somebody in an action film? Why the fuck? You got a pan blue so it looks like a sexy smurf? No. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Smurf. I have news once to have a talk with you. One Smurf and thousands of Smurf dicks. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes to Papa Smurf for guidance, but he has needs. Just running, <laughs> running through a field of dicks. <laughs> la 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 la. Fuck. One explodes <laughs> on the way. Like, oh, you got me. God, you guys are fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, something like that. Something like that. I'm, I'm just sitting here smoking, you know, weed. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, you um, know weed, like he's never done it before. Uh, <laughs> you know weed? <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's I time to do one. I think it's time to do another impression. I think it's time to do a little villainous duets. Um, are, are, you, are you ready right now? Woo! Uh, I yes. Guess. Yeah. I'm, I'm so moist. All right, so we'll dine, we'll dine mask. <laughs> so basically, what we're doing now is uh, something they did on Hollywood Babylon, and uh, basically they did what they call this dynamic duets, and it was what Adam West and me. Well, we're calling this villainous duets uh, because we're going to do, uh, Randy's going to do Bane, the Tom Hardy Bane. Give him a little Bane. <laughs> And I'm sorry, Mr. Wayne. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to be the Iceman. The Iceman coming, Mr. Freeze. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna do a classic song. Um, you guys probably know it. It's a song from Elton John called "Don't Go Breaking My Heart." Are you ready, Randy? <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry. 
Bobby is the worst I've ever known. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> the horrible accent. I am. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, just, yeah. just the fact that we had to do it over again made it fucking twice. You had to cut it off. I need a lighter. I need a lighter. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yo. I, I just could not do that. I, I practiced and I tried, but that that just did you not. Come so, like in front of a mirror today, you know, the little Randy woke up, was brushing his teeth, and he's like, "I couldn't if I tried." I'm like, "No, that's good. I got this. I got this. I'm gonna tear it up tonight." And you get here and you're like, "Fuck!" Basically, yeah. he was, he was Randy all day. Driving, he's putting his rear view mirror facing him. I couldn't give my try. Oh, I <laughs> yeah. the you had a mask on? Yeah. So you drive yeah. up the mask on? That's part black. I'm surprised you just the mask. Just, just the mask on. <laughs> Nothing else. Just, just the mask on. Just, just, just the mask on. And he's even thinking in Bane voice. Like, he's like, I'm going to fucking nail this tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to nail this on the live show. Go home and get the road job. And then, and then at the end of the night, have my permission to die. I'm going to smoke some weed and get my dick sucked. <laughs> Who knows what could happen? It's not out of the question. Right. Well, you never know, Randy. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. Right. That's what I was talking about. There's still See? a conversation of sexual things. Three tokes of weed, Randy gets gay. <laughs>
she didn't get off, but it was huge. <laughs> I see so many girls out there going, like, yeah, I've been there. Wow, um, so, 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 uh, so. <laughs> Oh, wait, is that Randy's lady? She's like 12 inches and I didn't get off. She's like, thank God for Randy's four inch penis. But just does the work, you know? It curves up like a piece of elbow macaroni. It's a spot for you need it. I mean, it doesn't curve up. He's got to lay on his side. He's a right hander, but I mean, you can see where you're going. Randy, right handed? Really? Wow. I pegged you for a lefty, bro. <laughs> pegged you for a lefty. I love the fucking lucky game. It was like, Woo! you know what I mean, right? Yeah. <laughs> Me, I have a tiny piece, and it's actually, if you hold it up, it's to scale with a piece of macaroni. It hooks hard to the right. It hooks hard to the right. So when I go to a urinal, I'm standing to the right, and if I get myrtle, middle urinal, I'm standing there next to the guy, and I'm like, what? What? I'm peeing too, okay? We're differently able. Is that okay? Is that okay? Well, um, just to let you know, Dr. Dick, I've uh, looked at some of these fucking questions you have for you. Hey, Dr. Dick is shitty, my motherfucker! Holy shit! Dr. Dick is ready to answer all your love and festive questions. I had a billboard. US 31 is next to LinkedIn, so a lot of black folk can see it. And I am ready to answer your questions. You got chlamydia? Come on in. I'll scream it off. All right, you, all right your Valentine Randy's going to start. All right. All right. Rick. Okay, Dr. Dick. Someone in the audience wants to know why does sweaty balls taste, or why does sweaty dick taste better than sweaty balls? I'm sure well, you know. <laughs> Let me tell you, I have known from at least three years of experience. <laughs> Dr. Dick went to jail one time on a bad parking ticket. I spent three years in jail because I refused to pay the fine. Uh, the sweaty dick tastes a lot different from the sweaty balls because you're expecting dick. <laughs> when you're expecting dick, you're expecting better taste. Come on down, we're going to give you better taste. Guys always complain when girls are on the rag, but still want to fuck. What's up with that? Well, guys will fuck anything. <laughs> if you put a hole in a Christmas hammock, I will have sex with it. And if you're on the rag, guys will put it in the back door. You don't want the back door, they'll put it in there. They don't care. <laughs> like, honestly, if I had a lady come up to me right tonight, and she's like, I'm on the rag, I'm like, I have three or seven towels at home right now. <laughs> we can stop that shit up! <laughs> I understand it's not like a, like you cut your arm and there's a flow, it's like a bronzing of the penis. I would, I would say. There's like chunks of blood! Uh, 
what are the advantages slash disadvantages of incest? Well, the advantages are you're probably snatch and snatch that you can never get before. The disadvantages are having awkward children with six or seven fingers on the land. Don't forget awkward Christmases. Right. Uh, <laughs> Uncle Daddy is as good as Sister Bonnie. If any of you guys watch Pornhub, it's going on right now, all right, guys? It's happening. Sister brothers happening all the time. Oh, you fuckers are sick. No, I mean, like, really. You like, you, like, go to Pornhub and you want to search something cool, it's always, like, brother, cousin, brother, sister, stepdad. The donkeys are so 2000. Right. I want to see some cuss fucking. This elephant was owned by your stepmom, and now it's fucking you when you're asleep. <laughs> Everybody's like, I'm gonna jerk off to that. Yeah. Uh, your put your trunk on her pussy. Whoa. <laughs> oh, things my mom said at bedtime. <laughs> She was always like, oh, Hank, someday, someday an elephant or a very fat woman with a big nose will put her trunk on your pussy. And I'm like, I don't have a pussy. And she's like, well, that's not what we call a dick either, so. You're in between, so. Want to take this one? Let's do this. Randy, I feel like you're so far back there. Right? So, just so Dr. Dan, I just want to hug you, Randy. Dr. Dan, how can you deal with crabs? Well, the thing you can do right away is you can shave your pubes. <laughs> and then, after you shave your pubes, you take those crabs and you collect them up in a little mess of bile. And the next time you have angry sex with an ex, you dump them on them because fuck them. <laughs> And a lot of times they won't have pubic hair right up front, but they will have hair on their asshole. A lot of women don't shave their asshole. Do you like, do you like wait till they're like eyes closed, full O face, and you're just like mouthful like mankind's mandible claw type shit? Like, oh, oh, oh. Actually, a lot of times I wait for her to fall asleep and I put it in their underwear. Like most of my sexual experiences, they fall asleep, but I just rub my dick up and down their butt cheeks through their underwear. <laughs> oh, a lot of people like Victoria's Secret. They are not the best. Let me tell you, if you got a man who likes to put his dick to the test, you're going to go down to Kmart, you're going to buy the Lane Bryant underwear, and he's going to put his dick up and down the side of your leg. Speaking of Kmart, you kind of sound like the guy on the internet, you're like, it's H.E. Blue Special! <laughs> 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 we got a Blue Special at Vibrators in the back alley. <laughs> we don't usually sell vibrators at Kmart, but a lot of us are going out of business, so we're trying to expand our reach! And basically, we just don't give a fuck. We have a blue light special in the panty department. Everything is half off. <laughs> oh, not a lot of people. So we have a blue light special in the Little Miss section. Oh, too many people. <laughs> Get out of here. rape. Randy, you want to yeah. the next question? You're nice and close. Okay, well, someone in the audience wants to know, what do you do when she wants you to lick her, but you heard her fart 20 minutes ago? <laughs> now that's how you get me on it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Come on, just lick it. Wait, wait, is it? Wait, what are we licking though? I mean, is it? Are we, are we, are yeah, what are we looking at? Are we doing the front or are we doing the back? If we're licking Walt, we're totally getting pink on it. <laughs> and then how is she sitting? Shitting? Wow. Shitting? Uh, how was he sitting? Because if she is sitting in a position where her fart rumbles to the front, it blows her pussy lips like a crack door. Getting <laughs> blown open by a hurricane. <laughs> Let's not forget, like, if it's got a beard, too, because it kind of rubs. So, yeah, you're going to have some, you're gonna have some uh, particles in there. What I would say is gauge your hotness. Six or more, do it. 
I believe you are probably a guy who's not going to get better than a six, so you might as well just put your tongue anywhere she asks. I believe the correct term for the beard poo is uh, dingleberry. I believe that's the correct term. Hey, Shane, you're a four. You're married to a seven. If she asks you to toss the butt, you do it? <laughs> Like one night she comes you know, home, she's like, she you know, my ass. You know, I you know, I did hear it's pretty fucking fresh. I did hear that. I did hear once it's pretty fucking fresh, so you never know. That's a bit of tea. Like maybe it was Taco Tuesday and today is Wednesday. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> You're not gonna wanna let go of that. Are we talking are we talking straight to Is it now? <laughs> I just say you know it was Tuesday. Get on top of the glass and shit. <laughs> you're deflecting. You're not even like so seriously. You're not even doing this with your fucking questions. I'm just like. No, like seriously. I want April to go home tonight and be like, lick my ass, Shane. Lick my ass. And you're like, it's far enough for the Taco Tuesday. What the fuck is that? You know, technically we did this to ourselves. We asked them. Yeah, no, like really, like if she hadn't had the idea before, she does not. <laughs> it's in the back. It's in the back of the brain. She's like, no, no, no. And she's like, oh yeah. <laughs> Just one time. Says the word. One man. One tongue. <laughs> one butthole. Shane Bauer is <laughs> tossing <and> cell. <laughs> Uh, you do it. You do it. I, I can. I can look into your eyes right now, and you're like, I'll. I'll do it. One man, one way. Look, I love you, April. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to do like sexy Kev to my wife? Is that I know Randy would do it. Randy. Randy looks like a guy who just bumps into the puppy nest. Like Randy looks like a fellow who like doesn't have to be ass. She's just like. It's a surprise for everyone! <laughs> no, you're lying. Oh, no. You've done it. I don't think you would admit to it, but I can see in your eyes. Like, you have this, like, part of your soul that's dead now. <laughs> like, when I look into your eyes, you're like, I did it. I told her, like, it was a one time thing, but she was like, do it again. <laughs> and Randy was like, So I'm officially calling the hashtag for this podcast, hashtag uncomfortable Randy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's going to be the best part of the The more show. uncomfortable I can make Randy, the better. <laughs> it's amazing. You're doing a great job. <laughs> Randy, has she ever stuck a finger up your butt? Oh, no. <laughs> she should, because honestly, before we recorded this, Randy was like, oh. If a girl stuck a finger on my butt, I would just go crazy. Mm. Like, I'm gonna act like I don't like it, but I really want it. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah, all right. It's okay. <laughs> do it now. Do it now. Oh, well, no, don't do it now. Get to the butt hole. <laughs> Poor Randy. She's gonna do it and he's gonna go like, hey. <laughs> You're on the spot right now, buddy. 
Oh, I'm telling you, Miranda, go home tonight. It's only a six episode. <laughs> go, go home tonight. Let Randy get comfortable. Let Randy knuckle up to you. And then just give him the old, yeah, don't even give him a thumb. Just, 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 just a, a piece. Just one knuckle. That's one a knuckle. feeler finger. One knuckle. One knuckle. You know, just He's going to like it, and he won't admit to it. Everything starts somewhere. One knuckle. Yeah. <laughs> Just give Randy the, the the gentle hello of the porn hub. Be like, we watch this to get fucked. And we're focusing on this, and like, like tomorrow, like tonight, Randy's like, those guys, and then tomorrow he's gonna be like, call me, like, dude, that was fucking awesome. <laughs> Holy shit! I never came so hard. <laughs> Actually, he won't be able. Like, I've never come so hard. <laughs> it was bad. You only have to get offended to that thing. No, no, that's the fuck I was born in it. No, that's the fucked up thing. He doesn't do the impression. Randa does. Like, Randa. He comes so hard, she looks at him and goes, I broke you. <laughs> I broke the bottle. <laughs> you liked it. Too much teeth. <laughs> <laughs> he said too much teeth. <laughs> Woo! 
Sometimes the teeth grazing up and down a shaft could start a fire in her mouth. <laughs> Get that? Friction. And a penis. Oh, wow. You ever had a toothy blowjob, Shane? No. Definitely not for me, girl, but I mean, like... No, I, uh... I've always dreaded one. Alan, 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 have you ever just had a blowjob? <laughs> Alan, have you ever had a blowjob? Uh, yes. Really? Yes. How was it? it was so Isn't it amazing? What about Blumpkin? No. <laughs> Oh, did you see that? <laughs> like, oh, no, 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 isn't it sad? Yeah, I, I have to. Is it sad? Because my offices are open from 9 to 5 if you want to go. I'm just like Casey Casey. And it reads, Dear Dr. Dick, Is clean bleach acceptable to use when bleaching one's asshole? Random fucking crowd audience member. In my experience, if you're bleaching your asshole, just go down and take a bottle of Corax, put it up your butt in a funnel, and it'll take care of the rest. If you're if you're bombing the inside area, the outlying areas, they're gonna follow suit. <laughs> that means if you put bleach in your butt, it's gonna dye everything outside. Randy, be back. Wow, Randy, Randy. Randy, Randy, Randy. We, we miss you. Miranda, how do you get, like, we should, we miss you, Randy. How do you get Randy to come to bed? We miss you so much. Look at that night. Look at that picture of Randy's playing Fallout. And, like, he's not ready for sex, and you're standing there, and you're on PA, and you're like, Randy! And he's like, I'm almost to the next level. And you're like, seen that before. <laughs> Is that how it goes, Randy? No. A little bit of side boob, you're just hopping all over it, right? No. <laughs> no. No. What the fuck? Uh, I'm trying to get a little bit into Randy's sex life so I know how to seduce him. <laughs> Randy. Dr. Dick always cares. Okay, we're, we got we got more. We got we got uh, we got one more. Oh shit! We got one more. <laughs> um, okay, I am ready. I have a billboard. All right. Um, what sexual position produces the ugliest children? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> for me, in my knowledge, that is incorrect. They wrote the answer down. <laughs> what was their answer? I can tell you if it is true or fake. The answer is, ask your mother. <laughs> sounds like a ginger question. I can tell you that I have asked my mother, and my mother told me that my dad and my mother copulated, which is a scientific way of saying intercourse, under a lava bush on my dad's property. Which I felt like my dad met my mom at a bar and he took her back to a lilac bush on a farm. What kind of slut was my mom? <laughs> kind of like the ones Randy had sex with before he met Miranda. <laughs> Randy, did you have sex before Miranda? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did. Yes. Did they put a finger up your back? <laughs> Well, guess what? That's what Miranda is offering tonight. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna say whatever position makes an ugly kid is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't do it yet. No, it's good.
That's good. That's good. Where would I? My name is Steve. I've been sad for a long time. Um, I cut myself. In case a lot of people don't know, I cut myself. Is it don't stream? I uh, I I wrote. Don't stream or cross the road. I drew a picture of myself. I I just cut it with scissors. So. I cut I'm 
10. Yeah. Ten. <laughs> ten. I'm not. I'm not square on. You gotta do drunk girl after you. gotta do like, Shane! I have fire drinks! Can you feel it? Where's, where's Tiffany? Have you seen Tiffany? Tiffany's not right! Where the fuck is Tiffany? I don't know. Tiffany! Also, let's see. Like, seriously, between you and me, I suck your dick. <laughs> Same. Don't touch. Don't tell. Becky, are you still talking to me? No! Okay. I didn't say that. So we have a team podcast now, like, so you guys seen Liz? Bad. So basic. So fucking basic. I actually forgot, forgot a Dr. Dick question here. Oh, shit, here we go again. Oh, I'm gonna give that to Alan. <laughs> Is that that bad? It's pretty fucking bad. Me and, me and Randy will answer this. <laughs> Look at Alan's face. He's like, you son of a bitch. Oh, oh shit. Here we go. Before I read this, wherever you are. Is he? Here. Sorry. Sick. Oh, yeah. 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 What's the best way to administer anal sex when the target butthole is overrun with hemorrhoids and festering anal fissures? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Yes. I that was 
Who was that? Was that you? Was that you? No, it was German. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was German, wasn't it? Yep. It was like, what do you have to do? Boof the blood of Christ? Boof the blood of, boof in the blood of Christ? Smuggle. Yeah, yeah he's he's smuggled something in jail or something. Yeah, that was, uh, that was something. <laughs> Uh, yeah, man. you know, Dyke Night was pretty good too. But yeah, it's number one's gonna be Dyke Night. <laughs> Dyke Night. Oh man. Yeah. Honorable mention to uh, Swasta Tits. Yeah, Swasta Tits was uh, pretty pretty classic. All right, I'm gonna go next. <laughs> um, the uh, the number three slot goes to Swasta Titties. That's that was pretty uh <laughs> that's pretty hilarious. What uh, what was that? That was uh Dark Man Return. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was. What is what's her actual name? I can't remember what her name is in, in the comic book. But we just uh, called her Star actually Randy called her labeled her Swastatini, so that was her. Uh, I think it's I think it's Swastatin. <laughs> no. Um Bruno. Bruno? Yeah, yeah I think her name's Bruno. Yeah, I think you're right. Alright. Uh my number two is Dr. Dick! As he's taking pictures. Right, as he's taking a picture. Right? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to jack off to this later. This is going to go into my scrapbook. Every time I see a podcast, I, I, I was in the video of Randy to jerk off to later. I'm, I'm sure you were. <laughs> <laughs> and my number I'm one. Sorry, man. My number one is uh, uh, Booth the Blood of Christ, because <laughs> it's the most awful all fucking thing we've ever heard and made a hash tank. <laughs> Uh, was it Grandmas and Slammas? That was really good. Grandmas too. and Slammas is pretty good too, and that wasn't on the list. But yeah, yeah. Shane forgot it. Yeah, Shane forgot it. Shane. Thanks, Miranda. <laughs> well, Alan's number one was my number three, Dyke Knight. <laughs> I hope your pinky gets stuck in Randy's hand. I'm going that shit out. <laughs> yeah. um, my number Bring two. Up. Sorry. Number two is Trick and Squirtle. Trick and Squirtle? Yeah, Trick and Squirtle is up. It's pretty And then my number one was hashtag who's Ben, who's Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Um, that was the same one as Grandma's and Yeah, that was the same, same episode. And I think that might have been why we missed it, because I saw that on the page. Maybe missed the actual and the other hashtag. So that happens. <clears throat> Rule one, we smoke. That's what all the time, so. <laughs> um, Hank, you got a you got a, a few handful of favorite hashtags. Oh, let me just just read off some delicious mentions on here. <laughs> All right, definitely number three. <laughs> Randy Revenge. Oh, Randy Ravage. Ravage. Sorry, I can't read because I went to Orchard View. <laughs> <laughs> Sad. Number two, Dot Knight. I went to I went to Orchard View. <laughs> Wait, where's, where's my favorite? favorite? I just I want to read right. Oh my god, is uh, I was there for this episode too. So, oh, uh, Night Fluffer. Night Fluffer. <laughs> <laughs> I am the <seeing> Night Fluffer. Night Fluffer. Randy, when you go tonight, Night Fluffer will be there. <laughs> Randy's always the easiest to pick up. It's like, like uh, if I pick on Alan too much, he could take me. <laughs> <laughs> she won't care. Go smoke another bowl and then fucking <laughs> right. ask her some bitch. Like really, if, you, if, if I pissed Alan off enough, he would kick my ass. So <laughs> it's like. I don't know, I think Randy's the feistiest one out of all. Yeah, but I can still hug the fuck out of him. <laughs> 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 like, honestly, like, right now, Randy, me and you got in a physical fist fight. I just started to take my clothes off. <laughs> 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 I would fucking rock. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's just like, Shane, Shane wouldn't care. Shane would go up to you and be like, I'm gonna keep your ass, whatever Shane laughed off. Alan would whoop my ass, but Randy would run away when I started getting <laughs> Alan's like, no, that's all right. You want oil or no? <laughs> I've been in this fight before. <laughs> uh, uh, Prison rules, right? <laughs> all right, well, we'll read off the audience top three. Uh, their number three was actually a tie between 
the night fluffer and uh, what? Uh, I don't remember what the what was for. I really know. I, I most of these I know where they're from, like which episode they're from. I, I have think, no fucking idea where the what one's from. I think the uh, the what one is. Um, it was an episode we we got really high and. Wait, where? It just came to a stop. Yeah, it was really quiet. And narrow I was it down like, to what episode you got really high. I don't smoke it. I've never smoked it with you guys, but I got really stoned in the last one. Well, yeah, yeah. Last time Hank came down, he ended up leaving after the podcast, and he actually he actually texted me later and he's like, dude, I had to stop, man. I'm so fucking high and paranoid. Like, I didn't even watch it for like 15, 20 minutes. I, I tried to walk out of my car five different times. Like, I did different takes to walk out of my car. Take two. Take two. You know, like, I got out of my car and I started walking out. I'm like, no, that's not good. That's not good. They're like, they're going to know. And then I walk back to my car, got back in, got back out, and I'm like, all right. And then somebody looked at me and like, no, no, we're not good. <laughs> look at the ground, look at the ground, look at the ground. And like, somebody could have looked at me oh, and was like, why did I get out of this car five different times before he went to the bathroom? Because in one of my takes, like, I felt like I was like walking there really gay, like I was sending out the wrong message. Like somebody's going to want to come to the bathroom, tap on the skull four times. And is, it, is it weird that I'm happy we got him fucked up? Yeah. <laughs> You guys are happy any time you get me high. <laughs> you're gonna tie your shirt and not be like, take your bath, be bath. Crazy! Alright, uh, you guys' number two was Tiny Dick! <laughs> oh, that's the Ricky Morty episode. Boy! That was a fun episode. And your number one is Swastatini's! Swastatini's is, uh, that's still one of my favorites. I think I had one. I love it. It was fun. Uh, all right. Um, we got one more thing, Mason. There we go. One or two more things to cover before we're all set here for the podcast. Can I take a, take a second here, Shane? Yeah. I want, I want to say that I I have probably like three different things on my podcast, on my iPhone. You guys are on iTunes or anything, but I have probably about four or five different podcasts I listen to, and one of them is your guys. Not just because I shout out there, you guys have the most insight and the best things to say about every different comic book, movie genre you can say. Like, so if you're out there watching this right now, you guys should find these guys and follow them. It's up! It's up! Everything they say is hilarious and amazing. And once again, we want to thank the crowd for coming out. This is our first time doing a live show. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys sticking around and uh, listening to us jabber on and, and make Randy really fucking uncomfortable. Randy <laughs> <laughs> looks like a rape victim. <laughs> <laughs> you know he's going to cry. You know he's going to cry. I'm going to rape Randy, Randy this whole episode. He will say, well, you're new to me. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you look me in the face when we make love? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so a new internet thing that's been going around is uh, this, uh, this game people keep playing. And uh, basically, they've been calling it uh, Explain a Movie Plot Badly. Have you guys heard about this? Um, where you basically they give you a crazy version of the plot and you have to guess what movie it is. We're going to play that tonight. So, um,. And it's, it's, you know, it's, it's very self-explanatory, like, for instance, uh, older sister ruins younger sister's chance to be a nationally televised game, or be on a nationally televised game show. What is that? <laughs> I, I, I thought we were answering down the line. We can. So. You, if you don't know, yeah. you say pass. I'll pass. <laughs> no clue. Home Alone 3. <laughs> <laughs> Close. The Hunger Games. <laughs> Wait, whoa. How, how is Home Alone 3 close to the Hunger Games? <laughs> I was just throwing them oh, off. Oh, those guys like the house. He was running that RC car around. Oh. <laughs> that was nationally televised. <laughs> Future genocidal child slash murdering fascist becomes unhealthily fixated with a woman half his age. Star Wars. Which one? Episode 3. You're so close. Was it 2? The Phantom Menace. Because I feel like he didn't become.
become fully like. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm hitting you now, bitch. Oh, it's episode three. Let's do this. <laughs> trying to sell it. <laughs> I'll give you half a point. <laughs> uh, half a point's all I get for my sexual endeavors. So. All right. Unsuspecting boy is seduced by a creepy old loner into a game of crime, terrorism, and incest. Any ideas? <laughs> Home Alone 3. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm kidding. I want to say Tron. One would argue that this would be Star Wars Episode 3. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is Return of the Jedi, isn't it? No, 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 no. no. Um, this is uh, Back to the Future. Ah! <laughs> Marty! We got a Oh, God. He's real God. Marty, the children! Okay. Transported to a surreal landscape, a young girl kills the first person she meets and then teams up with three strangers to kill again. What movie is it? Feel free to shout out guesses if anybody wants to guess in the crowd. Anybody? Repeat it again. Transported to a surreal landscape, a young girl kills the first person she meets and then teams up with three strangers to kill again. Wizard of Oz. Good job, sir. <laughs> wow. Fuckface gets a point. <laughs> That's weird. I was going to guess Aladdin. <laughs> I was going to say Home Alone 3. <laughs> Well, she has an RC car! <laughs> well, something like Bam Margera. I was going to say Home Alone 3. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm pretty stupid. I'm sorry. Oh, can you, you guys ever seen Bam now? He looks like oh, Phil. Oh, God. <laughs> My friend died, so I'm sad, and it's an excuse. To go to a very terrible place, it looks like he ain't Ryan Dunn. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that was fantastic. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> I mean, oh. that, was, that was a joke that only Hank would enjoy. Um, right? That was for you, buddy. Thank you, guys. Thanks for coming on the show. <laughs> Alright, next <laughs> one. Illegal immigrant chased by the feds. That's like every movie. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Whoa, hold on. Hold on. I, so that's like every movie. <laughs> it's true. It's every like, movie? It's a shit ton of movies. <laughs> is it, is it close, Paul? Yeah. Huh? Is it Paul? No. He He's an illegal immigrant. Fuck, he's just killing it over here. <laughs> E.T. extraterrestrial is the answer. Holy shit. Ah, that sucks. I was going to say Fast and the Furious 4. He gets another one, right? He gets another one, right? He's going up here. Don't you fuck her. Dude, Vin Diesel looks Mexican. <laughs> Don't talk about her that way. Live my life my mile out of ten. Alright. Next one. A boatload of people take the ice bucket challenge way too far. Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> he is correct. Just panic. I don't want you to be drawn over there in this. He was like, Titanic, holy shit, that's amazing. <laughs> I don't want you to draw me more in this, Jack. Alright, next one. And <laughs> only. A boy starts banging his best friend. While trying to kill his gay uncle. <laughs> Is that not who? You, you, you wanna run that one by me one more time? Right, one more time. time. I'll, do, I'll do it like Don LaFontaine. In a world, a boy starts banging his best friend while trying to kill his gay uncle. What movie?
Should have kept guessing those. Could have retired. Right. Should have kept guessing the Disney film. Should have got it eventually. <laughs> um, I was getting there. Everybody All right. A family's first Airbnb experience goes very wrong. Hostel. Wait. What? Hostel. That's a good guess, but no. A family's first Airbnb experience goes very wrong. Nine eleven. I fucking wish. Holy shit! That's crazy. It would have been hot. Seat. So it's not nine eleven. It's not. That's incorrect. Nine twelve. Anybody else have a guess? Vacation. No. It's all fame. No. <laughs> So, Liam Neeson's cock is so big. 
How is it? it? Only the vision and the mighty Thor are worthy enough to lift it. <laughs> no. Liam Neeson's cock is so big. How, how big is, is it? it? It made Tom Petty back down. <laughs> <laughs> Randy, you want to read one? Sure. <laughs> Randy's like, I can't fucking read this or anything. <laughs> He's worried about what I'm going to read. He's like, I'm just trying to make sure Hank doesn't break me, okay? It will be great. It will be great. I'm trying. <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's kind of like deciphering Sanskrit, right? <laughs> okay. Liam <laughs> yep. Neeson's cock is so big. How big is it? That three quarters of it is technically still virgin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Liam Neeson's cock is so big. How, How big, big is it? it? It shakes him after he takes a piss. <laughs> <laughs> Another one? It's like, which one did I read? <laughs> which one did I read? Yeah, that hasn't been read yet. Did I read? There's some in the back. <laughs> oh. Liam Neeson's cock is so big. How big is it? He comes pink hearts, orange stars, yellow moons, green clovers, blue moons, and purple horseshoes. It's rumored to be magically delicious. Oh, it's just how he charms his magically delicious, is Bad, bad. Right. No, it was bad. 
right. That's what I thought. I don't think that funny. That's exactly where I thought. Liam Neeson's cock is so big. How big is it? He can fuck you tomorrow, yesterday. Impressive. Impressive. Indeed. All right. Let's do one more. Liam Neeson's cock is so big. How big is it? He tripped coming out of the shower once and pole vaulted into Canada. <laughs> Damn. Damn Canucks. They have no idea what it's coming, eh? <laughs> I think we broke Hank again. Mark it, mark it, we're at 131.17. We broke Hank twice. <clears throat> Three times. Three times. What was it? Three times? Remember, oh, yeah. three times. Yeah, that last. For those keeping record, yeah, we broke yeah. eight three, three, three times. times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those anal fissures made him snap. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. That would have been pretty the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, once again, uh, we want to thank you guys for coming out. This is basically the end of our podcast, our very first live broadcast. So uh, please give it up for yourselves. We thank you guys for coming out. Thank you so fucking much. Show. Uh, this has been a Geekly Gag Live, it's a tribute to Hollywood Babylon. I am Shane. I'm Alan. And I'm Randy. Dr. Dick. Dr. Dick. So let's give a one big hurrah for ourselves as we get the fuck out of here and have a good fucking week, everybody. Fuck's <laughs> <laughs>